Καλίστεσαι τον επουράνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν Πάτριμον, ο εντής ουρανής, αγιαστεί το όνομά Σου, ελθέτου η Βασιλεία Σου, γεννηθεί το τέλημά Σου, ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης, τον άκτον ημών των επιούσιων, δώσ' ημιν σήμερον, και άφησ' ημιν τα αφλήματα ημών, ως και εμείς αφήμεν της φλέσης ημών, και εμείς συνέγης η βάσης πειρασμών, αλλά λύσε ημάς από το πονηρό. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Tas kafalasimon to girio klinomen. Lord, Master, the Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads before you. Distance them from every evil deed, lead them to every good work, and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these, your most pure and life-giving mysteries, for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Χάρητη και εκτερμής και φιλανθρωπία του μόνο και νου σου Ιού με Θου ευλογητώσει, συν το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζώπιο σου πνεύματι, νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Lord Jesus Christ of God, hear us from your holy throne and praise from the glorious throne and we can be your throne and I with the Father and all throne and visit your present moment. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Proskomen Tagia Tisagis The holy gifts for the holy people of God. Melise te kedi merise te omnos tu thio melise omnos ke mi dia romanos o panta es thio omnos ke mi dapa te dapa no manos ala tus metai kondas a yazon. I believe, O Lord, the Christ, the Church, truly of Christ, the Son of the living God, came to the world, saved sinners, of whom I first. I also believe that this is truly pure body, and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me. 
forgive my sins, both known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation. For taking your promiscuous for the forgiveness of sins and life eternal life. How shall I know whether I am chosen son of the stage by their triumphs of our king and our glory? Well, excuse me, since not a running garment, I've been bound by the flesh, we can't fuck the angels. In your love, Lord, God, bless all and save me, and love me, Master Lord Jesus Christ, my God, live in the Saving today, Son of God, partake from Mr. Pesach for our love. Reveal you, Mr. Chair, and Ms. Norway, give you kisses and shoes. As a thief of the flesh, we'll remember you. Without us, let's put the Lord in place. 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 Forgive me, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Do God, Pesach, my Christo, to the Nato, Vasimotha. At the Dida Tamia Thanasi Utu Yeri, to Tim Kanayan, Somat Kunisu Gistu, Miss Asma to Angusari. To the hips of Yomu Kathri, the Tanmith with the Samatism of Perekathari. Anastas and Christians have lost news of my human mind. And some runs with the Prosky and Numa Academy is to not to talk to the Sadness of America. Μεταφόβου Θεοπίστιος και αγάπης προσέρθετε With the fear of God and faith and in love draw near
Σώσον ο Θεός των λαών σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου. Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιωνών. Ορθή με τα λαβώντας των Θείων Αγίων Αχράντων Αθανάτων Επρόνιων και Ζωπιών Φρικτών του Χριστής Χριστού μυστηρίων αξίως ευχαριστήσομεν το Κυρίο. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλεξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Την ημέραν πάσαν τελείαν αγίαν ειρηνικήν καρμάρτητον ετισάμενοι εαυτούς και αλληλούς και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. We thank you, Lord God, for the communion of the Holy, most pure and immortal of heavenly mysteries which you have granted us for the benefit, sanctification, and healing of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of the Holy Body and Blood of your Christ may become for us faith, unashamed, love, unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the dread judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O Christ our God, you accept this rational and bloodless sacrifice as a sacrifice of praise and pleasing worship. You are the Lamb and Son of God who takes away the sin of the world, the blameless young bull that does not accept the yoke of sin and who offered for us of your own will. You are broken but not divided, eaten yet never depleted, and you sanctify those who eat. Indeed, you make us partakers of your holy body and precious blood. This ineffable, heavenly and awesome is sacrament in remembrance of your voluntary passion and life-giving resurrection on the third day. Preserve us in your holiness, your servants who, those who minister, who govern faithfully, who serve in the armed forces and the people here in attendance, and grant us to meditate on your righteousness at all times and in every season so that being guided to your will, doing that which is pleasing to you, we may become worthy to stand at your right hand when you come to judge the living and the dead. Rescue our brethren who are held captive, visit those who are ill, pilot travelers who are in danger, and give rest to the souls of all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the eternal life. 
where the light of your face shines and hear the prayer of all those who need your help. For you are the giver of good things and you send up glory to you, your eternal Father and your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Christ your God, the sacrament of your dispensation, clean and finishes the fires out of power. We have had the memorial of death. We saw the image of your resurrection. I feel the everlasting life. We experience your new gospel delight. Please allow us to enjoy it through the age to come. By the grace of your unoriginal Father and your all holy good life, brings be now and forever. And to the ages of ages. Amen. This morning, we offer a one-year memorial for the repose of Nicholas Tubekis. Evlogito sikirie didakson metadikeo matasu ton aikio no koros evre piginti zois ke thiran paradisu evro kago face the table. Sino don diatis metanias to Apollo los prova ton eco imi anacalese me sotir que so son me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. <clears throat> of old you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Ευλογητό η κυρία, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου. Η εικόνη μη τη αρήτου δόξη σου. Ή και στίγμα θα φέρω πνευμάτων. Ή τήρησον το σον πλάσμα δέσποτα. Και καθάρισον σία πλακνία. Και την πόνθινη πατρία παράσχουμη. Paradisu palim pion politin me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Give rest, O God, to your servant and place him in paradise, where the choirs of the saints and the righteous, O Lord, will shine as the stars of heaven. To your departed servant give rest, O Lord, Overlooking all his offenses. Voxa patri ke io ke ai o pneumaidi to trilambes tis mi aste otitos evse vosim nisum en vondes ai gi osi o patiro anarchos osi na anarchos ios ke thion pneuma fotis onimas pis tis ila trevondas. Και του αιωνίου πήρω σε ξάρπασον. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed, Theotokos may find paradise. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, doxa si o Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 doxa si o Theos.
With the saints, give rest, O Christ, to the soul of your servant, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no suffering, but life everlasting. Meta tonaion anapapson Christe tim sikintu Metablematon dikeon tataliomenon. Tim sikin tu dulusus o teranapapson. Filaton aftinis tin makari en zoin tin parasi filanthrope. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Vox a patrikei oike agio pnebmati. Si o Theos y mono cato vasis adim, que tas o dinas lisas ton pepe dimenon, aftos que tim psiquin tu dulus sus o eteran apapson. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Most pure and spotless virgin, who ineffably gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the soul of your servant. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Nicholas, and for the forgiveness of all his sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord God grant his soul rest where the righteous repose, for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of his sins. Let us ask from Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Theos, ton primatum que passis ad corso, ton thanos, ton catapatisas, ton de diavolon, catargisas, que zoi tu cosus fudoris amenos. Aftos, Kyrie, and Apaf, son tim, sikin tu kekmen dulce tu Nicolau, en topo fotino, en topo chloero, and to pan apsixios enta pedra udini lipi que esta magmos. Pan amartima to paraptu praktenen logu iergo diania, os agathos que filantropos teos sin corison, o tiu que est in antropos os zise tecu camartisi, si gad monos actos amartias hiparchis, i di que os sinis tu di que os sinis isto neona, que logo su alithia. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you trampled upon death and abolished the power of the devil giving life to your world. Give rest to the soul of your departed servant, Nicholas, in a place of light, in a place of green pasture, in a place of refreshment from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have fled away. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin he has committed in word, deed, or thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Nicholas, O Christ, our God. And to you we offer glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Eonia imnimi. Eonia imnimi. Eonia. Memory be eternal, memory 
The first Sunday of Great and Holy Lent, we celebrate the feast of the resurrection, the restoration of icons into the Holy Church. In the eighth century, just prior to the eighth century, for about a hundred years, there was um, a there was a heresy in which they would. Um, use icons um, inappropriately, uh, which caused a, a great deal of trouble historically within the church. An icon, as you are aware, is a window to heaven. It provides us an opportunity to see through the saint or through the event the presence of God in our lives. That is why icons especially within the Byzantine tradition, um, find themselves in two dimensions, not in three dimensions, um, find themselves with two dimensions, and the figures oftentimes stand in very awkward positions in order for our eyes not to be attracted to the human aspects of, light, of the icon, but to the divine. So it is important for us to remember um, that iconography is there to teach us and to instruct us in our faith. In the um, eighth century, with the restoration of the holy icons into the church um, and the dispelling of the heresy of um, misappropriating, uh, of misunderstanding the use of icons, the heresy was that they, they would worship the icons and not that which the icon depicts. So an, an icon um, is not in and of itself um, something to be worshipped, but that which is depicted, um, the divinity that is depicted through the icon is what um, causes us to venerate it, to pay respect to it. And so the, un, the um, restoration of icons is heralded on historically as a historic event on the first Sunday of Great Lent. On this first Sunday, as we enter into Great Lent, um, it is a great reminder for us to realize that our law in our life, we must strive to be like those who are depicted in the icons, that we must take that which is sacred and holy 
and, um, uh, and adapt it to our lives through prayer, through fasting, and through works of charity, which are the three cornerstones of the Lenten period. Um, we will begin the procession today. Um, some of our teachers and students, um, anyone else who would like to join in the procession, we do have some icons here. Um, we welcome you to do so. Uh, we will process around the church, singing the hymn uh, for the first Sunday of Lent, Tin Arkandon Ikonasu, uh, we venerate your immaculate icon, um, is the hymn. And each time we sing the hymn, we process a little further and offer uh, a series of petitions. In the back, there are, um, I hope some of you picked them up, but this is the service itself, so you'll be able to follow along. Evan, Evan, wait, wait, wait. Join in. There you go, Yanni. Good, good. Good job, buddy. This way, this way. Follow, follow the big tall guy, okay? Okay, you're going to go right behind him. Follow Jeremy. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to hear us and have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop Methodius. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians residing and visiting in the city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, 
the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Eleison imas o Theos katato megaleos o demethas o pakos on keleison. Eti domatha iper makarias mnimis keonium anapafsias pandon ton elpi anastasios zuis eoniu kakimenon afsevon kododoxon christianon. Βασιλέων Πατριαρχών, Αχιερέων, Ιερέων, Ιμανράχων, Ιωδεκόνων, Μοναχών Πατέρων, Προπατόρων, Πάπων, Προπάπων, Γονέων, Συγγενών, Τέκνων, Αδερφών και Συγγενών ημών, εκ των επαρχής και μέχρι των εσκάτων, και υπέρ του συγχωρητήν αυτής πάμπλη με λιμά ακούσιον δε και ακούσιον. You're going to go back to Papu? Okay. What is he on us? Ανάστασης η ζωή και ανάπαυσης πάντων κακειμένων ασεβών και δοδόξων χριστιανών Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών και εσύ την δόξα να αναπέμπομεν στην το ανάρχο σου πατρί και το Παναγίο και αγαθό και ζώπιο σου πρεύματι νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. (laughs) 
Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, protection, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards, and benefactors of this holy church. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Eleison imaso theos katato megaleoso de mathaso apakos anke eleison. Eti de mathae per tu dia filactina tina hien tu Christum megali ecclesien tini eranimon archepiscopin tini eran metropolin ke tin polin taptin Ke pasan polin ke koran ke aporgis limu limusis mu katapondis mu piros macheras epidromis alofilon enfilium polemu ke enfidiu thanatu ipertu iliun emeni ke dial dialakton geneste ton agaton ke filandro ponteonimon tu as apos trepsa ke dias ke dase pasan orgin ke noson tin katimon kinumenin keristineimas ektis ekmenis dikeas aftu apilis keleiseimas. Hear us, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth, and for those far off at sea, and forgive us, O Master. Forgive us our sins and have mercy on us. For you are merciful and loving God, and to you we offer glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. As the prophets beheld, as the apostles have taught, as the church has received, as the teachers have declared, as the world has agreed, as grace has shown forth, as truth has been revealed, as falsehood has been dispelled, as wisdom has been manifest, as Christ awarded. Thus we declare, thus we affirm, thus we proclaim Christ our true God, and honor his saints in words, writings, thoughts, sacrifices, churches, and holy icons. On the one hand, worshiping and reverencing Christ as God and Lord, and on the other, honoring the saints as true servants of the same Lord of all and offering them proper veneration. This is the faith of the apostles. This is the faith of the fathers. This is the faith of the Orthodox. This is the faith on which the world is established. Therefore, with fraternal and filial love, we praise the heralds of the faith, those 
with glory and honor have struggled for the faith, and we say to the champions of orthodoxy, faithful emperors, most holy patriarchs, hierarchs, teachers, martyrs, and confessors, may your memory be eternal. Let us beseech God that we may be instructed and strengthened by the trials and struggles of the saints, which they endured for the faith even unto death, and by their teachings and treating that we may to the end imitate their godly life. May we be deemed worthy of obtaining our request through the mercy and grace of the great and first hierarch, Christ our God, through the intercessions of our glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the divine angels, and of all the saints. της δεξιάς του υψίστου της Θεός Μεγάσος ο Θεός ημών Just before we complete the service this morning, 
and as we have welcomed and celebrated the return of icons into the church, I think that we need to remember that the most important icon that needs to return to the church is the living icon found in each one of us. As we look into each other's eyes, as we speak with one another, we must realize that Christ continues to dwell within us and that the importance of our faith is found within relationship, without, is found within community. As we remember the restoration of icons into the church, let us strive to restore the living icon into our lives. Tu kiriu dei thomen. May the blessing and the mercy of our Lord come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all-pure and all-immaculate and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bondless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy glorious and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Die Frauen tun ihren Patrimon, Kiri Jesu Christi und Theo Simon, allein son que so son imas. May the blessings of the Holy Trinity guide and protect you all. You may be seated. In the pew pockets, you will find an icon card of the Evangelismus, the Annunciation. On the back is the prayer of stewardship. Um, please take out the card, and we will read the prayer of stewardship together. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, accept our offerings as you accepted the gifts of your people throughout the ages. We offer these gifts to your glory for the support of the ministries of your holy church, for the alleviation of suffering and hunger, and for the proclamation of your gospel to the whole world. Grant us your blessing, Lord, our Savior, that we may always be faithful stewards, continuing to share the gifts you have given us by the power of your grace, mercy, and love. May your name be glorified forever. Amen.
Good morning. First, to the Tobeckas family, we extend our prayers of condolence, and we ask that our Lord continue to strengthen you and comfort you as you mourn the loss of Nicholas. There are just a couple of things I would like to remind us about um, this morning. Um, first is um, tomorrow we, is the Feast of the Annunciation, the Feast of our uh, parish. Uh, we will celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation. We will begin the uh, celebration with great vespers this evening that start at 6.30. Please make a special effort to attend um, to celebrate our community. Um, and then tomorrow, we will gather for authors and liturgy as usual. Um, authors will begin about 8.30, 8.45 with divine liturgy at 10 o'clock. Um, I do not know if we are live streaming now, but just to let the people, just in case, that if they have started up the live stream, um, there was a problem with the internet earlier, and so uh, you were unable to watch the whole uh, liturgy today. On Wednesday, we will gather as a community for pre-sanctified liturgy. Uh, the pre-sanctified liturgy begins at 6 o'clock, and at the conclusion of the pre-sanctified liturgy, we have the uh, uh, Lenten dinner and discussion um, that will take place. We thank the Philoptikos for providing the dinners following pre-sanctified liturgy. On Friday at 6.30, we will gather for the second Yet it is me service, the second salutation service that will take place this Friday at 6.30. Um, just a couple of, of other notes. Um, Orthodox Christian Fellowship, for those of you who are in college, um, be, will gather um, every Thursday at 6 o'clock. Uh, we'll meet this Thursday here at the, um, in, at the, in the hall, um, the fellowship hall downstairs. Um, mark your calendars for Sunday, June 1st, I'm sorry, Saturday, June 1st, uh, we will be plan we're planning, the Philoptic is organizing a trip for our community to go down for a one-day trip down to New York City um, and to go see um, uh, St. Nicholas uh, Shrine along with the 9-11 um, Museum. So please keep your eye open with, um, and, um, with more information. You'll find information on the back and we will be emailing it to you shortly. Um, I believe that will be it for today. April 7th is the Greek Independence Day Parade in Boston. Um, if anybody would like to help with readings during any of the services, weekday services on Wednesday and Friday evenings, uh, we welcome you to join the, um, the, the crew up in front here to read some of the psalms and some of the readings. Please don't hesitate to join in. Um, they will be happy to help you. If there is inside the, uh, the Dove a QR code that you can sign up with a sign-up list to help do some of the readings. Please join us for Coffee Fellowship in Davis Hall. Uh, the Coffee Fellowship today is offered in memory of Nick Tubekis by his family. That's a good idea. Um, I'm just rem reminded, um, liturgy kind of goes, takes my mind away from things. Just before liturgy started, Meryl, can you please stand up? <laughs> 